I'm actually free now. Kwaba Edoba Amisi TV. Yes, and the baby PM O University of Ghana, ASCD Hall. Uh huh. Hall. Any baby PM and there, but me beside I'm a case of then a course. Yes, a University of Ghana. Any program we have by agency mental health for young people in Ghana. Yes, you can mental health. I will be doing what saying. Intend that mental health, you know, will be say mental health, you know, quite a course saying in comfort then and comfort about the mental health. Mental health, I will for you. Bibia, a cat in Kuala young boys, a OCC in the country of Africa, a higher papa, a bad mental health issue. Into this initiative, you know, was organized by African Academy for Public Health. What I say, and Omumoto Air for the better for the people, a public health. Uh huh. And our choir almost almost from BB a beam. Intended nurses for any shimu, a university of Ghana, a city hall. And uh, as a minia, omode in omode omo church and same minia. Now, first, me castle, me should be a as or casa casam so keep on nipan as our bottom. But in the mental health program, a course on a man was a son and you will be a and a head and a near bottom. If you relationship aspect, your mental health be brew womb, your corner, young boys betting, oh, almost a betting for their mental health. Or the one in the emotional, I train them more canon, but because of on them cool to be a so you or cool. It's and then this initiative, Meshada and a my video was so came it here. But now, while we are young, we would see a video message at the youth, the organizers on this initiative. Oh, this is about the mental health, the discussion. What I say, even to move to move your much, I'm going to come and tie it. The woman come no minion will be one of the two to move guy because I know what she said. Even the mental health, one more crown or more yet that to move to move in the secret area. And you know, I'm going to set work. Yes, he what I say, one more call a pass. I shall move in general or so. I'm going to put it one more. The one can put in here. The minion the organization now. Oh, oh, yes, that program. No, we need a brown or down. No, it's me by well. What I said, oh, be all yet representation of my. The uh, uh, African organization, but no, so to me, by a bit PMO, a kind of say, University of Ghana, Professor Bebrina, Dr. Yao, a do at a and so be PM, Deputy, uh, Deputy Communication Minister of Health, and so to me, PM, Abe Kasai, when you use half a titanium in team, it may be PM or side media, sir, or more Kasa about the mental health condition. What I say, San Aminia, almost a relationship aspect in Podi. The mental health, oh, almost can't mean it. And easy. Minia, I'm a little bit come, no, with some of the videos. In some of course, so I will hold and then I will invest of Ghana. Ha, a bra air nurses for Tennessee. I will model this initiative, mental health for the young people in Ghana. Minia, I'm saying Ghana and Kwan, just because I'm going to Ghana. By any Ghana, I'm going to call across Africa in the world. Why, say, I'm going to call across Africa in the world. When you are mostly relationship aspect in the body, the kind of relationship aspect, mental health, eh? Almost the young ones and the uh, can say grown up on me, almost in the quiet, similar body. In two more, for like a two are pressure, and then the swing as a sort of bends because never papa a a trinity gay and again, and never part of the range in a genuine so on. So the young guy or the pressure and the mentality are turned on swam on a man or Kasakasa into this initiative, you know, and your bad initiative. I mean, you are would see moon, say yes. And you easy, son, a young ones on the year, corner of depression. I etched the young ones and our mental health in our hardship of Nanado economy and the Baumia government. You know, easy. Now, to say, let's see near Koso University of Ghana about the mental health for the young people in Ghana. Per se, almost more particular the mentality, no, and what the young people after that, when you see him, a co street, a co share, quiet, even street or fan for almost on number one, ten says, is car, one more number. Horses is can almost so almost condition with the same because almost so we must be a potato. Now, number one, I dream I've done a trim no the mentality of the mentality of Bogat and a woman and I'm 180 degrees. Walk a canna will be to my bomb with trash and we will in the go in quotes the first speech from what I say Melissa was a cancer and Bruni Fita from the World Health Organization or no any be a speech now at the Maya or church. Think what you know, your kind about the mental health program and then of course, so a university of Ghana City Hall, young court, you could see me and family. United for Global Mental Health and Origin. So, I'll tell you a bit more about myself. I personally have worked in global health for over 20 years. And while I've seen so many remarkable improvements in health outcomes in so many different contexts, 
Sometimes it can also feel like we're paddling in a boat that is not moving, or at least not moving fast enough. Even though we know that one in seven adolescents worldwide faces mental health challenges. We also know that national health budgets globally only allocate an average of 2% of all allocation, the majority of funding is spent on care are important. So we must do better for young people. We need to look farther upstream to the drivers of mental health and illness. What are the factors that lead young people down different paths? Today you'll hear more about the participatory process that has been used to identify and prioritize these drivers in this context. And that takes me to the second thing that excites me about this initiative. At Grand Challenges Canada, we call this shifting power. We believe that the people closest to the challenges we seek to address are the ones that are best placed to identify the needs, the barriers, and the solutions to overcome them. But if we're honest, this is not usually how the development sector is organized. Quite often, people who control financial resources in faraway places determine what the priorities are in Ghana, and they also select the solutions they want to fund. But how can a small group of people sitting in Canada really know what mental health means in the context of getting in society? The landscape work being shared here today is one example of how being is following the voices of local people to make decisions, particularly young people, and seeking to shift the power we hold as a funder back to those who should be its true custodians. And finally, that takes me to my third point, which is innovation ecosystems. On the basis of this rich learning that you'll hear more about today, Being has recently launched a request for proposals to fund innovation projects in 12 countries, including Ghana. The request for proposals is rolling and will provide multiple options for local organizations to test new ideas and to begin transitioning them to scale. Youth-led organizations will be given priority. And for the first time for us at GCC, alongside this funding for innovation, being is also providing catalytic ecosystem grants related to the drivers for contextual challenges in the wider ecosystem. So what does that mean? So for example, while a youth-led organization might be testing a new innovative approach to prevent adolescent suicide, another advocacy organization might be funded through a catalytic ecosystem grant to launch national, national policy to decriminalize suicide, for example. The idea is that for all this work to come together to build a more vibrant, locally-led ecosystem for youth mental health, prevention, shifting power, innovation ecosystems. So my invitation to you is to engage with this research and to promote its use. Share the findings with your colleagues. Talk about mental health with your family. Review the request for proposals, and if it resonates with you, submit your ideas. Reflect on the influence you have, what this work means to you, and what role you can play. Thank you. Thank you very much. And moving on, I want to invite Kezia Nini, young, representative of young people, to give a brief statement. Kezia Nini. Fellow young people, the media, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, a good morning to you all. My name is Kizia Ene and I'm a volunteer of the Youth Action Movement from Ghana. It's an honor to stand before this house to speak on the mental health of young people in Ghana. As young people who are still navigating the complexity of transitioning into adults, they are personal, social and environmental factors that affect our well-being and pose a threat to our mental health. To us, issues such as bullying in schools, the fear of judgment, battling with family demands and academic setbacks, and very little or no motivation to carry out facts, eventually lead us into mental health conditions such as anxiety and depression. 
I must also point out the alarming increase in the number of young people who are addicted to substance use and gambling in Ghana. We are therefore glad to know that stakeholders like you are interested in our well-being, and so are making efforts to ensure we grow healthy and become productive adults. This project has given us young people the opportunity to interact with different colleagues from diverse backgrounds through stakeholder engagement. We are glad our voices and opinions on key mental health issues that affect us have been considered. We are particularly happy about the living environment created to make us feel comfortable enough to talk about the mental health issues which a lot of us have experienced. Additionally, through this engagement, we have also learned the need to seek help to tackle mental health challenges as and when we face them. As a young person myself who has personally experienced the difficulty assessing mental health resources and the apathy of most Ghanaians towards mental health, it's not surprising to find that young people find it difficult to relate. We have learned the need to prioritize our mental health as much as we do our physical health. We are aware of the foundational work this project has done to set the agenda for different types of intervention. We are towards building capacity to tackle the mental health crisis facing young people in Ghana, especially with the issue of bullying in our basic and secondary schools, and the potential to make a real difference in the lives of young people in Ghana. We are super excited for this direction because almost all or all of us are facing many forms and degrees of bullying in our schools, influenced by this, hence our appreciation of the call to intervene. Through this engagement, we have also learned some of the government policies and laws that have been set in place for our sake in addressing these day-to-day -day challenges we face. Let me conclude by once again thanking the funders and implementers of this project, as well as you, distinguished stakeholders, for working with us and for us. And to all young people present and online battling with mental health, let me reiterate what Noam Swansa said, and I quote, Mental health is not a destination, but a process. It's about how you drive, not where you're going. Therefore, remember to focus on the light during your darkest moments. Thank you. Thank you, Desia. Without organization, you get to know that that is the peak of all and the dream of, of us here. Ladies and gentlemen, I would want to invite the rep, um, the country rep, Dr. Go ahead, give us a brief statement from World Health Organization. It's really simple. Northern is being built to identify 
Again, the BHO is supporting the government of Ghana through the Food and Drugs Authority and Ghana Health Service in progress. Tobacco Cessation Guide to support the adolescents and young people passing tobacco use disorders to improve their world. The BHO again through the Quality Rights Initiative has successfully created awareness among over 26,000 individuals who have earned a certificate in the e-training. These individuals are using their knowledge to promote a human rights-based approach to mental health, health care among the health professionals and their caregivers, civil society, religious leaders, and community members. In the field of addressing mental health, one important intervention supported by the WHO involves utilizing data from the global school-based and student health study to evaluate health behaviors and protective factors among students. Additionally, the global school health policy and practice setting is used to assess school policies, thereby enabling the design of evidence-informed intervention. Analysis of the global school based for boys and girls reporting suicidal ideation and some reporting previous attempts. In response to the findings of this study, the PHO with funding from Foundation Butler is building the capacity of teachers and school children in the second Takadi municipality on violence injury. And this workshop is going on this week. STI, HIV, mental health, as well as engage with school health communities, co uh, committees and support them develop action plans aimed at reducing risk to build res uh, resilience and promote well-being and also plans aimed at reducing risk and all other things that are all issues that are affected by this in government and municipality. Ladies and gentlemen, this dissemination meeting is an important means of sharing information and opportunities which can be used by relevant stakeholders to address the benefit of youth mental health and assess and all things that can help adolescents to try. We therefore congratulate the organizers of this initiative and wish you a successful dissemination. Thank you for your attention. That's ben. ben is uh, the rep representative of the rep country rep of WHO Ghana. Next, I would want to invite the Deputy Director of Mental Health Authority, Dr. Yao Amamba Atta, to also give us. Good morning, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Uh, permit me to stand on the existing or to read this. Uh, if you say I'm a deputy director for mental health authority, you put me in the second position. But I'm not in the second position. I know I'm not there. I'm the deputy director for health promotion, not the deputy director for mental health authority. This is the place. My inability to participate in this timely dissemination workshop. An equally important matter requires my immediate attention, hence my absence. However, I can imagine the enthusiasm with which we are all waiting patiently to hear the findings from this step. With love, endless, first time, as important to energy. Chairperson, hopefully, I think it's for Santorini. The significance of this particular study is underscored by results of several research that indicates our young people are faced with a pair of risk factors that may dispose them to potentially suffer from mental health problems, often experiencing the onset of mental health challenges such as emotional and behavioral disorders, suffering from suicide, psychosis, and risk-taking behaviors in their age. Therefore, they need to conduct a landscape analysis and environmental scanning of young people mental health in Ghana is very important now than ever. We are all witnesses to the worrying trend 
in which a lot of people are gradually being swayed into government affection, getting obsessed with social media to get social affection and feel obsessed. And in the end, are exposed to all the negative consequences associated with social media, including phone addiction, cyberbullying, just to mention a few. All of these have the potential to present their mental health implications for our young people. Therefore, knowing what pertains about our young people's mental health is of paramount importance. That way, we will be able to align this data that we are going to share this morning to policy initiations and practice within the mental health system. That notwithstanding, MHA has taken proactive steps in conducting series of awareness programs for our young people, particularly in the SHS and more recently in basic schools, as we celebrate our performance with the theme movement moving more to our mental health. This is full of awareness programs, including special outreach programs as well. It is interesting to know that the interaction between our young people and facilitators during such awareness program demonstrates their interest and hunger for more knowledge. And our part and indication to gather resources to intensify the awareness programs backed by all evidence interventions to support their mental health. In addition, we have consistently conducted virtual seminars and to this date have delivered 29 virtual seminars of varying topics, providing knowledge and support to parents, guardians, and teachers and the public to help them deal with the mental health of young people. All these seminars are recorded and are available on YouTube. The stage, ladies and gentlemen, permit me to express my profound gratitude to Grand Challenge Canada, who funded this work. It is a demonstration of their understanding of the agency of the program at hand and their commitment to support us. I also extend appreciation to the University of Ghana School of Public Health and the Department of Mental Health Medicine and Africa Academy for Public Health for the timely dissemination of their findings. I know the hard work and rigor has gone into their final products, and I commend you all for that. I cannot leave out our key stakeholders who have gathered here and others who are joining us virtually. You also deserve enormous commendation because your contributions have been instrumental and very much recognized. Indeed, your work is not even done yet. I am optimistic that after the findings are presented, you as key stakeholders will put on your lens and make contributions that will shape these findings. And I want to thank you all for that. Chairperson, very much aware that our young people are our future leaders. And it goes on us to make sure that they are fit for purpose in our world. More especially when we know that all the detrimental effects of young people and other problems might transcend into our life with negative effects such as relationship challenges, poor educational and educational consequences, and very very pressure. Therefore, let me state that our priorities for our young people's mental health are one, improving their knowledge about mental health and mental illness. Two, developing favorable attitudes in them that will make them supportive and also to enhance their health seeking skills to young people with mental health and well-being. This is our priority when it comes to young people's mental health. That being said, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, after the deliberations on the project findings, I hope it becomes the catalyst to change.
change the dynamics of future research on young people's mental health with such professionalism and rigor. Further shape policy and practice that will lead to the benefits of our young people. Let me also encourage our key stakeholders gathered here to expand your methods so that we can collaboratively work together, implement interventions, and enhance accountability within our prized system. Finally, I'll miss the opportunity and the passion of this program. I would have loved to hear everything first hand, meet both old and new stakeholders and partners to share ideas. However, I have no doubt in my mind this work job will be successful in churning out the evidence we so much desire to improve young people's mental health in particular and mental health in general in this country. Receive my best wishes in good faith and have a successful workshop. Thank you. But what that told us was that we are probably not 
hummus or seed. That's why what is it is. Please have a big area that need a lot of support and experts. And so when uh, investigators propose this and uh, funders agree to support, whether by coincidence of agenda or by the convincing nature of the, the proposal, it is glad we to know that we are going to get evidence-based results of findings that can help us fashion the response. And that's why uh, since the start of the progress in the investigation, the full activities of, of this endeavor are very, very Recent issues again, I think, have been attributed by the government about issues of suicide attempts, addictions, to the rest. But they have brought to the fore that a good proportion of the population that we should deal with is going to have over 40% of the population.
Thank you very much.